What up guys? Here's my ammo can PC build. Just real quick here. Show you a quick view of the power button, which is hidden by the uh, lid. And you can push it through that hole uh, to turn it on. Anyway, this is called a Fat 25 ammo can. As soon as you just open the thing up, slide it off here, and it comes right off. It's easy to work in, or slide it off one direction. Like this. Um, I have a 500 watt Be Quiet SFX power supply. Um, SFX is for the uh, the smaller version than the ATX power supply, so it's perfect for these for this build. I'm running an ITX board. You could probably do a DTX board in here if you really wanted to. I I just went with ITX just in case. Um, it looks like there might be extra room in there, but um, do it at your own will because this hinge up here does kind of come down from uh, kind of preventing me from putting in the IO shield on here. So just kind of a pain in the butt, so be careful when I left it. I wanted it up as high as I could at the time because I wasn't sure if I was going to put a graphics card in here, which I'm going to do in a part two of this video. We're going to do the uh, GTX 1050, just a basic not a big graphics card so this has an integrated graphics in the cpu and the cpu on this is the ryzen 3 3200g um there is better apus out there i would probably go with a better one if you want to do any kind of gaming at all aside from like minecraft maybe um so this is uh just really kind of a generic build uh, more of a desktop PC. It's four core, four thread. I think it's a 3.2 gigahertz with a boost clock on it. And uh, the integrated graphics card, I'm sorry, the integrated graphics in the CPU supports up to two gigabytes of like the so-called VRAM. So anyway, there's that. Let's look at the back uh, the side. I have a 120 millimeter fan. I wanted to do a 140 but it just would not fit. Here you can see the standoffs for the motherboard. There's one over here. They're brass. They did uh, protrude. <coughs> they did protrude at first, but I had them sheared off. And then um, we just used, uh, my buddy has a, uh, well he runs a machine shop, so he has like a special bit to help cut this off and stuff. Um, nice machine. I'll try and throw some pictures of that in here as well. I don't have any video of that. Um, but if you do decide to build like an ammo can, regardless of what style you want to go with, I would pick you up one of these, um, kind of like a builder's kit. Just has the different types of um, screws and stuff. It comes with standoffs, comes with your uh, motherboard screws and um, fan screws, etc. Sheet graphics card holder screws, etc., etc. Anyway, I don't remember how much that was. I want to say it was around ten or eleven dollars. The fan uh, was free to me because I just took it off another build I, I I did. One of those cases, probably. This one is uh, just an NZXT fan. Nothing special. It's just a generic fan. Um, when it's closed, it does hide the top screws, which in hindsight, I probably would have moved it down a little bit more so I could put some kind of shield over this. But honestly, not a big deal. It is kind of heavy, but I mean, it could be worse, I suppose. Sorry for the cluster there. All right, so moving into here, I have the, this motherboard is a A320i-K from Asus, and this board is kind of overkill for this build. As you can see all these extra fan mounts. I'm running a eight gig stick of G still. RG skill Trident Z with RGB so it's kind of adds a little bit of light in here and if you run the lid open you kind of see some of that bounce off the ceiling of the lid. Uh, Noctua low profile cooler um, and of course the SFX power supply it comes with really short um, CPU cables so it's kind of nice it can keep kind of keeps it a little cleaner in here you can see this is pretty long cable um, but you know what's nice about this is you can throw a mouse in here like a fold-up keyboard, etc And you can have like an all-in-one portable PC on the go um, As far as the 
graphics card and I'm thinking about probably mounting it up here with the fan aiming down. Um, the cooling in this is actually pretty good. I have this as an intake fan, so it intakes air inside, blows it this way. So I have air that can go out here and then the um, power supply has a big fan here that pulls air in and out the back. So pretty basic, pretty simple. And uh, for the hole mounts, I got a, I found just a ITX uh, diagram online and just pulled that off to find uh, where to mount the, the holes. I mean, you could you could put it up there and just, you know, marker it, but I just wanted to do it without having to deal with that. So I would just print off a schematic, double check it, tape it to your thing and drill the holes or whatever. So that's probably the best way to go about mounting that guy. This, you gotta just kinda measure it. If you got like a dial caliper or micrometer caliper of some sort, probably be easier that way. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's do a benchmark. It's, it's nothing special, but here we go. So this is user benchmark. As you can see, it just didn't do too well. I had it plugged into my uh, 2K monitor at the time, but we did heaven benchmark on low settings at 1080p and only netted 31 FPS. All right, guys, let's turn this bad boy on. Oh, sorry. Lights up green. RGB. I was thinking about doing an RGB fan, which I have plenty of them. I just don't know if person buying this is going to want that or not. I'll let them decide, and maybe I'll put it in at that time. 